for another edition of Live at Recreate here at Recreate Arts Initiative in downtown Lebanon, PA. Tonight we are featuring Jolene Windmiller, who is here with her friends Jay and John. And uh, they're going to be entertaining us a little bit with a little music, and then we'll have a short interview and follow that up with another set of music. So without further ado, please welcome Jolene Windmiller. song called Providence about running away and getting married. Pennsylvania, eat my dust. This next song is actually the first real song that I've ever written. It's called Little Men and it's about roofers. So I hope nobody in here is a roofer. And maybe nobody gonna watch the broadcast or refer to it. Isn't it creepy? Please creepy forgive roof, me. Creepy roofers. Creepy right? roofers. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> An adjective. Yeah. There's a difference. Maybe there's only one creepy roofer. So. <laughs> Little men driving by I 
I'd like to just knock there Right off and that's no lie I don't want them Where are the big ones? Oh, 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 oh. Got to get away from I need a big one Little man, go out dancing Go back in your hole and die Little man on the corner Say I won't get a guy that way Because I'm not responding They will never get a try I don't want them Where are the big ones? Oh Little man, think you are so sweet You try to sweep me off my feet Do you think you can't be beat? Got to know you can't compete You're left up to interpretation for that song. <laughs> Maybe I'm talking about ice cream. <laughs> ice cream cones. <laughs> One time I went to Nashville to check out the scene. It was with a bunch of friends. Um, we we're all musicians. We got pulled over while I was driving, speeding ticket. And we got out of the speeding ticket by um, singing. Everybody sang except me because I was scared. I was the guilty party. And then <laughs> we got to Nashville and I wrote this song in Nashville. Has nothing to do with a speeding ticket though. <laughs> to know 
little story about that song actually when I was a college student at Rack I was studying nursing um, one day I was in the woman in the ladies room and there's a poster on the wall for Rack Idol and I thought it would be mostly karaoke and that kind of stuff but I decided to sign up for the Rack Idol and I won mm. I'm the Rack Idol from that song <laughs> I think I want a gift certificate to the Berkshire Mall. <laughs> okay, this next song's a little spooky. It's w actually one of my favorite songs. It's called Evermore.
Okay, so that was a broken heart song. This next one's a broken heart song. Why do broken hearts make for the best songs? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for the time. sad when John lost his harmonica. It was funny. There's a lot of stimulus here. <laughs> <laughs> this next song is a Madonna song. Tell me what 
what you want me to do I'm on fire And I know You want to want me But you can't let go Come on, let go dedicate this song to Jandy because I know she loves it so much and thanks for having us here Oh 
all this science I don't understand It's just my job five days a week Rocket man Thanks for joining us again. We're sitting here right now with Jolene Windmiller, our featured artist tonight. And she's accompanied here by Jay Nasser, who's on bass, and John Grisbacher on everything else. So thanks for being here tonight, guys. Thanks for having <laughs> us, Jandy. So wonderful. You guys are blowing me away by your uh, arrangements and stuff. It's so great. And your songwriting. So oh, nice. thank you. Oh, yeah. Nice. I prefer playing originals, but... Yeah, there's some really cool covers in too. Absolutely excellent choices. So tell me a little bit about yourselves. I guess I want to know um, how you all first got into playing music. How does that work? Um, I started playing music in the early 90s. And I don't know what like, compelled me to do it. Um, and then I was shopping for a guitar and my mom had a guitar in the attic that was like old and falling apart. The tuners were crumbled off. You had to use our pliers. And it was my grandpa's. And she oh, gave it to awesome. me. And I thought it was a piece of junk. And then I had somebody come help me tune it, put strings on it. And it was a, a like a vintage Martin 0017 from 1950. Wow. And then so I, of course, I fell in love with it. And... I didn't bring it with me today. It's just mm -hmm. yeah, good. yeah. It looks too too shiny to be the mind. So I played every day. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good since the nineties. Every day. Um, every day through the nineties, and then I think when I started college, I stopped okay. playing music. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do both. Okay. Well, and I could. I couldn't do both. And yeah. you're a nurse, which is difficult. Yeah. Right? Yeah. When, when you go to nursing school, you have to sign these papers that you um, sell your soul to them. <laughs> yeah. Did you yeah. go to one, one of those no music schools? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can't dance. You can't. You can't no. Nope. They even like had all these chores, and you had to designate who's doing your laundry, who's cooking for you, who's like you, because you can't. You got to study. That's yeah. it. Just in the 1940s. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, how about you guys, Jay? I grew been? up in the let's in the 60s. My uh, we lived in Yonkers, New York, to start before we went to the city. Mom and Dad was a high school music teacher, sort of oh, let me and my sister self teach ourselves. He was there if we needed to, so I started with piano, and then lots of changes in our lives, and then in the I was a recording uh, engineer, live sound engineer for a while in the 70s and then got really dumb and decided to go from high school then four years later to college and then I became a doctor and now I've been an anesthesiologist for 26 years and I, I, I don't know why I made that with kids. Don't take drugs and go to med school. Keep playing your guitar in your bedroom. I self-taught. I've always wanted to play music especially with bands i always put goals I, learned, I wanted to learn how to fly a plane so i did i wanted to learn how to ski did i wanted to ski the back balls i wanted to learn how to play guitar and then i did and then i not very well but to play three chords and play with a band live i did that so you know i finally achieved these little goals and then i meet this one and like <laughs> she's a way better guitar player than me and i'm like all right i bought you this Hoffner bass you want you haven't played it 
I'll start planning. So now at least I can, my goal is just to, you know, give her the right sounds that she needs. And we have our little recording studio. And it's like, you know, a bucket list thing now. I get to play with the band. Yes, yes. and I'm a very good one. Too. Wow. Very good one. You know, her music's great. So it's, it's a joy. So. Hey, John. How about you? Um... When I met Jolene, she inspired me to start to play, and so... You're going to pay for about so six months <laughs> uh, I, you know, so I was um, kind of like Jay, grow, growing up with music around me. My dad was a musician, and so I started playing very young. Just okay. kind of acquired stuff over the years. Excellent, excellent. Well, it shows. The experience shows through. It's you're all very polished and tight, and I love that. So good, so good. <laughs> so I know um, the writing, the songwriting, is primarily your role in the band. The, uh, were you, before I, you hooked up with these guys, were you um, doing your own solo thing with the guitar? That's what I did most yeah. of the yeah. time, yeah. Okay. I was mostly a solo musician. Is it and, uh, strange to be playing with others? Or? No, it's, it's fun. Yeah? It's yeah. fun. I, she prefers I, to play alone, but so <laughs> she can, we're not going. Sorry. If she wants to play alone, she's got to play in the bathroom. <laughs> no, I like playing by myself, but I like playing with people yeah, as well. Your, yeah. Would you say your arrangements and your tunes have changed at all? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, my arrangement never changes. But my groove changes. Okay. With the addition, mm -hmm. like I can back off. Right. Or right, like right. I can, like let let it up to Jay okay, to like carry the right. rhythm, or sure. like back off and John's taking solos, and it's more. It's Takes a little pressure off too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So Jay's my new friend. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and I married him. And you married him. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and we were not musically compatible. Like, mm -hmm. like Jay, Jay plays the, played the guitar, and so did I. Mm -hmm. But he he was more like rock, like, uh -huh. <clears throat> Aggressive. and then and I'm more, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm more, you know, like, like um, like like, yeah. <laughs> and so we weren't compatible uh -huh. that way. And then um, the the bass and came, came the around, bass came right? into play. Yeah. And now we, now we can play together. We can, I just we play can what play. she tells me to play. We can play. <laughs> Let's be straight. It's fun though. Like I get to write bass lines now. With, yeah. with my voice, I'm like, okay, go like this. Dum da dum dum da dum. And I go something like mm -hmm. that, but I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> try my best. <laughs> All right. Well, is there anything else you guys would like to add? Anything you want everybody to know? Hmm. I'll think of something when I go to bed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> How long can we keep this running? <laughs> All right. Well, then, uh, without further ado, let's get back to more, some more Our, awesome music. Okay. Jolene <laughs> Please welcome once again, Jolene Winkler. Some time. 
times a day I just can't go on living this way You know I love you a thousand times more when you're awake Baby, you've been sleeping too long Yes, baby cover song um, by an artist named Jill Sobule called Now That I Don't Have You. I've kind, I love this song so much and, and she's so obscure I've kind of adopted it as my own. So thank you Jill. Am I squealing?
day breaks, your mind aches You find that all her words of kindness linger on She no longer needs you She wakes up, she makes up She takes her time and doesn't feel she has to hurry She no longer needs you But in her eyes you see nothing No sign of love behind the tears Cries for no one A love that should have lasted song is an original song called Hang.
Hey, that was a happy song. Oh, that's a happy song. <laughs> I must be happy. <laughs> You'll all recognize this song. I'm not even going to introduce it. Shall we?
Thank you guys so much. We love this place. We love the music. Yes, it's so always excited a good time. 